The Challenge of the Yukon. On King! On your huskies! <laughs> the Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, King, met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. It was a pleasant spring morning as two boys walked along the main street of Forty Mile, accompanied by a frolicsome dog of doubtful pedigree. The dog, however, was the only one whose disposition matched the weather, as the boys were decidedly belligerent. I don't care if you are from the city. That doesn't mean you know everything. Well, I certainly know more about thoroughbred dogs than you do. These things they have up here in the Yukon are all mongrels. Some of them are half wolves. What if they are? They're better dogs than those sissy things they have in the city. They wouldn't stand a chance in a dog show. Who cares about an old dog show? Happy would be insulted if I even took him near one. That old cur? Or they wouldn't let him near the door. Happy's not a cur. He's a good, brave dog. And he could lick ten once. Huh, that mangy mongrel. Watch him run. Hey, don't you throw that rock at him. Why, you all, I'll show you whether you'll hit my dog or not. You hit your... Billy, get off him, Billy. Now, what's the matter with you two? Now, I'll show him if he'll heave a rock at my dog. Let me at him. You'll be sorry for this. I'll tell my father that dog tore my pants. I don't want to tell your old father, you sissy. I'll block the other eye for you. Steady now, Billy. Now, tell me what's wrong. I had to hit him, Sergeant Preston. He... Yeah, go on and tell, Tattletale. It's none of his business why we're fighting. I guess you'd better run along home, young fella, before I let go of Billy. I'll get even with him. Don't worry. I wish you'd let me get him, Sergeant. Now, Billy, calm down. I'm uh, going toward your house. I'll walk along home with you. Here, King. Come on, fella. (laughs) I'm sorry I was fighting, Sergeant Preston, but I just had to hit him. When someone calls your dog a cur and heaves a rock at him, I'll bet you get (laughs) mad, too. Well, I can see your point, Bill. But from the looks of things, I'd say you taught him a lesson. Just because he's rich and from the city doesn't mean he can get away with it. Uh, who is he, Billy? He's Bruce Norton. His father is up here buying mines and claims. Oh, yes. He must be Fred Norton's son. Norton's doing business with your dad, isn't he? Yeah, I guess so. Dad had to sell his claim ever oh. since he hurt his shoulder. He can't do any heavy work. Uh, here's your cabin, Billy. Bye. Good luck. Uh, thanks, Sergeant. I'll be seeing you. Come on, Happy. <laughs> Hello, Mom. What? Uh, Billy, your clothes, they're all muddy. What have you been doing? I, I, I had a fight. A fight? Oh, not with Bruce Norton. I couldn't help it, Mom. He's mean and he threw a stone at Happy. And he said all kinds of terrible things about him and... Billy, you know Daddy's trying to do business with his father. It's very important that Mr. Norton buys our claim. Well, if Mr. Norton is anything like a son, I feel sorry for Dad. Oh. Mr. Norton thinks the world of that boy of his. He'll be furious. Yeah, I know. Well, we can't take any chances, Billy. I think you'd better apologize and make friends with Bruce. Apologize? To that? Billy, you'll do it for Daddy, won't you? Oh, I guess so. But I don't like him. Well, you go over tomorrow morning and make up with him. The following morning, Billy trudged along beside his father reluctantly as they headed for Norton's cabin. I can see your point, son. I don't like to ask you to do this. I guess you had a perfect right to hit him. Well, I guess I shouldn't have lost my temper. The trouble is, Norton is the only man with money enough to buy this claim of mine for cash. Kind of a bad spot. I know, Dad. Don't worry. I'll fix everything. Here we are. Hello, Mr. Norton. Well, Jim, I wondered if I'd see you today. This is your son, I suppose? Yes, this is Billy. Hello, Mr. Norton. Well, step in. I wanted to see you about the disagreement our sons had yesterday, Jim. Seems to be rather an odd way to treat a newcomer. Billy came over to say sorry, Mr. Norton. Sorry about losing his temper. Well, I should think he would be. 
It was hardly a gentlemanly thing to do, Billy. Uh, I'm sorry I hit him so hard, Mr. Norton. I thought maybe he'd let me take him around today. I'll call him in. You can apologize to him. Bruce? Oh, Bruce? Yeah? Come in here, son. I tell you frankly, Jim, I was rather upset about all this. In fact, I was almost ready to call our deal off altogether. What do you want? Oh, Bruce, uh, here's uh, uh, Bill. He's come to apologize. Oh, he has. Billy, I guess you better... Uh, uh, I, I'm sorry I lost my temper, Bruce. I, I wondered if you'd let me show you around today. I don't think I feel like going out. No, son, I think maybe you should. It's a nice day, and I'm going to be busy. You have nothing to do, so go ahead. Oh, all right. Come along, punk. Why, Billy. you... Okay, Dad. I think they'll get along all right now. Uh, about that claim of yours, Jim. I'm afraid I can't offer you more than 10000 for it. 10000 It's worth much more than that. Well, that's my deal. Well, I'll have to think it over, Mr. Norton. You've got a couple of days. But I think you'll decide to do it. I don't see why you brought that silly dog along. Now, I'll say anything about Happy. Huh. Oh, here's Dad's claim. He started a mine over there, but it didn't work, so he had to begin all over again. There, about 300 yards. Boy, this is just a big, deep hole. It filled in some. Dad hasn't worked in it for a year. <laughs> Look at Happy. I guess he thinks he sees something at the bottom. <laughs> Boy, you, you dirty... You pushed him down there. Happy, I all right. right there. <laughs> You too. Now you're both down there. I'll show you whether you'll black my eye. I told you I'd get even. Well, you won't catch me. You can't get out without a rope, and I won't tell where you are. We'll be gone in two days, and I hope you'll starve to death. Bruce, you get us out of here. I'll tell him we went the other way, and you left me. Huh. I'll teach you to hit your betters. Goodbye, punk. Happy? I just can't get out. I just can't climb this wall. I've tried and tried. <laughs> if only you hadn't pushed you in, too. You'd have brought somebody here, I bet. All I've got is this old broken pick. We just gotta get out. Mom will worry. And... I know. Maybe we can dig a slanting tunnel. <laughs> Here's a place that's soft. Come on, boy. Dig, Happy. You get it started, fella. <laughs> That's it, Happy. I believe you dig down and the tunnel has to slant up. <clears throat> oh, well, you keep on. At least you can shove the loose dirt back for me. <clears throat> Find out anything. Oh, Sergeant Preston. I stopped by and got Sergeant Preston, Mary. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Nash. Oh, Sergeant, I'm so glad you're in town. I'm so worried. Billy would never stay out this late if something hadn't happened. Now, don't worry. I've got King. He's good at trailing, and we know where Billy went. Oh, you know? I stopped at Norton's. Bruce got home hours ago. He said they went way up in the hills east of town, and uh, when he wanted to come back, Billy wouldn't come, so he left him. He said Billy and Happy went on east. That was the last he saw of them. Up in the hills. Oh, he must have fallen down a crevice. Now, of... don't think up things that could have happened, Mrs. Nash. If you'll give me something of Billy's so the king can get his... We'll start for the hills and pick up his trail. Oh, yes. Here's his sweater. Oh, please, hurry. Come on, Jim. All right, king. Let's go. <laughs> must have gone to sleep. I know, fella, you're hungry. So am I. Oh, why can't they find us? Maybe we'll stay in this deep old hole forever and... No, we won't. We're going to dig some more. we got about eight feet, Doug. If you could only dig up. <coughs> this is awful. Hard work. <coughs> oh, oh, I've hit rock. Maybe I can chip it at...
You're tired, Jim. Go on home and get some sleep. King and I will keep looking. No, I couldn't sleep. This idea of searching in the other direction may be a good one. Yes, he couldn't have been in the hills, or King would have picked up his trail. We went over every inch of them. But Bruce said that's where they were. He's been gone almost 24 hours. Wait. King's picked up a trail. Yes, look, he's running west through those trees. We're coming, King. Come on, boy. Hurry, Jim. Sounds as if King's found something. Help! Did you hear that, Preston? It's Billy. King seems to be looking down a hole. It's that old mine I started and had to abandon. That Norton brat must be at the bottom of this. He deliberately steered us in the wrong direction. Billy! I'm here! Good work, King. Son, thank heaven you're alive. Here's a rope, son. Hang on. We'd never have found him if it hadn't been for King. Sure, Billy. Hang on. All right, Jim. Heave. There you are. Ah, oh, poor kid. You've had quite a night. Are you all right, Billy? Yeah, but I'm kind of tired. I tried to dig my way out. We made a long tunnel, but I... Rock! Gee, I should have taken it out of my pocket. It's so heavy. I was carrying it out of the tunnel. I'll bet you were hungry. Preston, look. What? This piece of rock. It's gold. There must be a vein running through there. Billy, how did you happen to fall in there? Bruce Norton pushed me in. Oh. But, Dad, if we found gold, then... It isn't important as finding you, son. But it means that old man Norton will really have to pay if he wants this claim. So you see, Mr. Norton, your son did a very serious thing. I hope you punish him for it. Oh, that sissy. He wasn't hurt. No, but my pocketbook was. That land of his is worth ten times what he'd have taken for it before Billy found that gold. I ought to take you over my knee. Yeah, you and who else? Me. I represent the law in this part of the country, and you, young man, need punishing. Come here. Let go of me, you chin horn cop. Father, stop him. He's gonna... Ouch! Oh, oh father! Ouch! Stop! Stop! Oh. Now, young man... Apologize to your father for talking to him like that. Why didn't you stop him? That dog. Not with that dog on guard. Bruce, do you hear me? Apologize or I'll... No, no, don't. I'm sorry, sir. Wait. Wait, that's the first time he ever... That's the first spanking he's ever had. And I hope for his sake it won't be the last. Maybe you're right. You see, if it hadn't been for King, I don't know what would have happened to Billy. Think that over, Mr. Norton. <laughs> All right, fellow, let's go. I think we've given Mr. Norton a few good ideas. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. This is this is the Michigan.